right? And I love it when television is actually genuinely educational. Um, and so, um, being a scientist, um, I love nature programs and David Attenborough. And, and I love the way that he goes off into the woods and crouches down somewhere. He starts telling you stories about some animal that you don't care about at all. <laughs> Until the end when you do, you really do after he's told you the story you do because you know him so well then. <laughs> so imagine I'm on TV crouching down in the woods all around me and this poem is called The Shrew and it goes like this. <laughs> to the undiscerning eye it is a mouse that scuttles by. But I hasten to inform you that you may have seen a shrew. Now, how does one know if one is looking at a shrew? Well, yes, I am an expert, but you can do it too. You see, there is one distinctive feature of this endearing little creature. The shrew has a long and wiggly nose. And I don't suppose this audience knows why the shrew grows such an elongated nose. Well, I shall tell you. You see, when it is snuffling and shuffling through the leaves, it makes a rustling, which sends all the insects bustling for anywhere to hide. And a crack, crevice, or hole seems a pretty safe goal to an insect's very simple eye. However, the shrew true nose that his clever flexy nose will get each little one by surprise. Everyone say, that's amazing. That's amazing! Yes, indeed. <laughs> so without one jot of concern, the shrew will now approach each hiding place in turn. It will step up to the target and push in its nose, and push it and push it as far as it goes. Now the shrew's nose can handle any bend, and the other design feature are the whiskers on the end. These whiskers are not short and sharp and prickling, but rather they are feather soft and perfect for tickling. And tickle then it does, up and down and round. It tickles all those little bugs hiding in the ground. Now what good does that do, you may wish to ask me? <laughs> well, the shrew is a master of insect psychology. You see, a cornered insect, when tickled by a snout, obviously, desperately, wishes to get out. It is giggling and it is wriggling when it thinks it sees a gap. So it goes running out under the nose, chomp, straight into the shrew mouth trap. Everyone say, oh no, the shrew mouth trap. Oh, oh no, no, the shrew mouth trap. Yes, indeed. <laughs> the fearsome shrew mouth trap. However, is this really why the shrew's nose is so? Well, I could say yes, but I should not profess to know. You see, I'm a scientist. My conclusions must be dreary. <laughs> and I must categorically state that this is merely, only, just a theory. <laughs> Nevertheless, I do wish to stress that I have presented you with a very highly educated guest. Thank you. <laughs> Another round of applause for Mike.